What is up, beautiful people? Corwin L. Gilliam here from CLG Lifestyle, coming at you with another video. If you have not already subscribed to the YouTube channel, do so right now. That way you can stay connected and help promote my channel. Also get it to monetization requirement because I love doing what I do and I desire strongly for my YouTube channel to really, you know, start uh, generating some in income. But God willing, you know, some other way, some other how, you know, I'm not putting limitations on God. Just focusing on what I believe he's calling me to do and believe that he will provide. I also have an ebook called I King Amongst Kings, a King David descendant, affirmation for the king who is becoming with spiritual insights. It's a quick read. It's 16 pages and it's for those who are desiring another resource um, when it comes to spiritual development or self-development, motivation, encouragement from a biblical perspective that will help you transform your mind and become the person that God created for you to become. So I wasn't going to wait until... I also have other links in the description box of the video, such as my podcast and other information that you can uh, check out if you want to support and you know what I'm saying? Just uh, spread the word. So I was going to wait to stop to do um, a video, but I'm like, why not do the video now while I'm driving? I'm currently doing Lyft, and if a Lyft ride comes up, then I'm going to have to cut the video short and then maybe continue if I don't finish what I'm saying uh, in this video. But nonetheless, we're going to make it work. We're going to do do and use what we have and, and make it work, right? So um. So I was reading the word today and I was, I came across, you know, about, I, I, I'm reading the book of Ephesians and somewhere in Ephesians, it talks about, you know, this basically saying in, in Christ Jesus, God created us anew. Ephesians 2.10, God created us, you know, some versions say anew in Christ Jesus. And of course, there's, there's a scripture that talks about all things have passed away, all things have become new. Now, Holy Spirit brought that other scripture to me and I'm like, you know, I've, always, I've been saying that. So part of my affirmations, right? I say that a lot. I, I, I've been saying that religiously, or should I say, uh, consistently every day. You know, all things have passed away. All things have become new. I am a new creature in Christ. But it hit different today. And it hit so different that I just couldn't, I just dropped off my passenger. But all the time I'm riding and I'm just like meditating on a revelation <laughs> that I got from, from that word. When God says, those who are in Christ, if you are in Christ, you are a new creature. You are literally a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. You are born again, born of the spirit. You are a whole new person. Ephesians talk about basically this, the life. Well, first of all, the rev, one of the revelations that I, that I got was that the Bible is talking to the new you. <laughs> oh. Glory to God. The Bible is talking to the new you, the new person in Christ. This is why you're able to perceive the Bible the way that you do now, which you could not have done before because you were not a new, you was not a new creature. You was not a new creature in Christ. So you was not able to understand the word of God as you're able to understand the word of God. Man, I could just shout right now because that was just like, wow. And I know my life is forever changed. And I pray whoever comes across this video that maybe you have to hear the word over and over and over again before you really get it. But like I said, I've been saying this scripture. I'm a new creature in Christ. All things have passed away. All things have become new. And I was just saying it in faith because I know, you know, regardless of where I am spiritually, I had a personal encounter with the Lord. And I know the Lord is real and that he exists. And I know enough to know that his word is his word. Whether I believe it, whether I've developed enough faith, whether, it, you know, um... You know, whether, you know, the word is the word. Whether I believe it or not, whether you believe it or not, whether it works for you or not, the word is the word. And so I received God's word by faith. And even though I wasn't seeing necessarily the fruits of my declarations of my, or my affirm, affirmations, in my heart, I just know God's word is God's word. And I'm going to take God's word for what it is. And in due time and in due season, it's going to be made manifest. And so all things have passed away. All things have become new. We are new creatures in Christ. The devil has done a work in deceiving people to, by making them feel like what God's word set, said is not true. How he does this in the context of uh, 
defying who and what God says concerning your new identity is by bringing up old stuff, is by reminding you of your past. Now, since I became a born again believer, I've been talking to, um, I've been listening to Dr. Bill Winston. Dr. Bill Winston is the man of God that I believe the Lord brought into my life to help, you know, me spiritually. He is, I believe, a chosen one of God who is doing the work of the Lord in spirit and in truth. And he, you know, he would always talk about, you know, just speaking God's word, declaring God's word, you know, whether you feel it, what's a feeling, just speak the word of God, right? And in due time, you know, that word is going to seep deep into your heart and it's going to mean what God said it means and it's going to be fruitful in your life. Glory to God. And so I, so, <laughs> so the word says, all things have passed away. All those who are in Christ are a new creature. All things have passed away. All things have become new. God has made us anew. Ephesians talk about God, you know, creating us anew in Christ Jesus. So that means, I don't care how spiritual you want to, spiritual you want to make it. I don't care how deep you want to make it. God is saying in Christ, there's a new experience. There's a new race of people. There's a new existence that you have tapped into when you became a born again believer. Glory to God. Now the enemy does a work in convincing you that you're not a new creature in Christ, that all things have not passed away, all things have not become new. He keeps bringing to your remembrance your old sins, your past sins of sexual perversion, of lies, of stealing, of destruction, of, of iniquity, right? The lies and, and the words that were spoken over your life from childhood into adulthood that was made manifest. A lot of people, a lot of you guys, men and women, manifested lifestyles that you never if you really had the if you were really using your will according to god's plans you would have never lived the life that you live okay and i'm talking about in every aspect of life this is why some of y'all you know when you were engaged in sexual perversion or or same-sex relations or relations with any anyone could get it you understand me that's why when you were doing things, you know, in terms of like stealing, of, you know, being physically abusive. I hope my video stays on YouTube because from what I understand, they get um, very sensitive when it comes to certain topics and themes. But nonetheless, I plead the blood of Jesus over this video that it shall remain and that it shall go into the hearts and ears of those who God is going to bless and, and, and continue to help be transformed and to be affirmed that you are a new creature in Christ. So the enemy does a work in convincing you that you that you're not who God says you are as far as a new creature that all things have not passed away all things have not become new. And how he does this is through relationships. He will use people around you to remind you of your past. They'll say things about you that you used to hear a lot growing up that was derogatory, that was inflammatory, that was offensive. And you're saying to yourself, why are they saying this about me? I know I don't talk like this. I know I don't dress like that. I know I don't look like that. Why are they saying this about me? You understand what I'm saying? This is another reason why the Lord removes you from family members and people who have come accustomed to you because he knows how the enemy is going to use these people to come against the work of the Lord. And it's not that anything is impossible for God, but nothing is impossible for God, but you're in it. So God has to be considerate about your decisions and you either making the work of the Lord easier for him or harder. So one of the strategies of God is to direct you, is to direct your path so that the plans of God will be made manifest in your life at an accelerated rate. You'll be surprised to know a lot of the times the reasons why God's promises are not being made manifest in our life as quick as we want to is because we're not moving according to the obedience of God. We're not making decisions that God is asking us to make concerning our relationships. You got to think about this. You got to think about relationships, uh, you know, that uh, re relationships that you had before you became a born again believer. These people are going to see you for who you are, like for who you were, excuse me. They're going to remember you for who you were. This is why the Lord says a prophet is respected in his own town, everywhere except in his own town. Because you can't just all of a sudden just talk about you being a servant of the Lord and holy and righteous. When just yesterday or just last week, people have known you to be doing some crazy stuff. And granted, God may have just touched you overnight. And you are a new creature according to the word of God and according to the baptism of the Holy Spirit by fire, right? 
The truth of the matter is in the lives of others, you are still the same person. The work of the Lord has not been fruit, uh, has not been made manifest on a external level or physical level. It's been done on the inside. So we have to take the seed that was placed in us on the inside, the Holy Spirit and the truth that we've been born again, born of the Spirit, and begin to move according to the direction of the Lord and his leadership as he's now taking us along the path that he's predestined for us before the foundations of the world. Amen. Okay. So this is why when you're starting to do things and, and you're starting to move a certain way, people don't understand because you know, you see, they don't understand. Okay. So they recognize that you're moving differently, <laughs> but yet still they can't, they're not able to see or discern that the reason why you're moving differently, the reason why you don't like the things that you used to like, or you don't dress the way that you used to dress up, or, or desire the things that you used to desire, which includes hanging out with them, is because you are a new person on the inside. That is why you that's why your navigation system is directing you to do other things and leading you away from them. God is stripping you away from these relationships, these people, places, and things that are Goliaths. Glory to God. These people, places, and things are Goliaths in your life. They are hindering you from becoming the person that God has created for you to become. So as a result of this, God now as your Heavenly Father has to begin to make major moves in your life by erad and I mean eradicating, like completely wiping out people, places, and things that are antagonistic, adversarial, and to be quite frank, enemies to your destiny. You'll be surprised the word of God. Well, you're not surprised because the word of God says, the Lord says, you know, people thought I came here to, you know, to be, and I'm paraphrasing here, but the Lord was like, you know, people think I come here to be harmonic, to make people come together. And it's like, kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya, my Lord, kumbaya. <laughs> the Lord says, I've come to set father against son, mother against daughter, friend against friend. And I'm paraphrasing here. Okay. The point is the law says when I come in with the spirit of truth, it's going to expose the true nature and the true heart of the people around you, including yourself. And as a result of this, as a, as a result of this exposure, things are going to shake. There's going to be a rumble in the land. People are going to, again, start to move differently because now let's talk about you as a born again believer. You now seeing yourself differently. Your perspective about yourself is different. Oh, before you was a low down, dirty loser. Now you have the, the, the mind of the righteous or the righteous mind of Christ. And you're now seeing yourself the way God sees you. And you're now having a standard for yourself. And you now have expectations for yourself that people didn't, didn't know you. They, they knew you didn't have no expectations for yourself. That's why they had you around. Because they loved having their foot on your neck. You understand me? They love being able to control you and manipulate you. They loved seeing you as a puppet and as someone that they can just do whatever they want with. And this is everybody in your life, mother, father, everybody. But now that you've come into the true law of liberty and the experience of what it means to be a child of God and to be born of the spirit and to live in the freedom of God, because whom the Lord sets free is free indeed. Oh, wow. It's a problem for everybody. And it's, and it's probably a problem for you because you've never had a taste of freedom. You've always been someone's lapdog. You've always been a people pleaser. So this is new for you too, but it's okay. God has given you the, create, the grace for you to work it out because as you continue to press forward in the things of God, right? God is going to cover you. God is going to make sure that, you know, as so long as your heart is towards him, so long as you are... Uh, fulfilling his will for your life God is going to uh, cover you And make sure that you get to where you need to go God is going to make sure that you get to your promised land In the mind It's a place in the mind That we have to get to where we know And we are secure in who we are As children of God right? To the point where nothing that the enemy tries He may try but he will not be successful In penetrating us In the mind Glory to God so I have to I want to get some some tea. Um so um so we are new creatures in Christ and I and and I was just like Lord Wow Sometimes we, we we're also so I think another problem too is that um we really don't believe God for who he says he is. 
right? We want to have our own concept of God, our own understanding of God, our own personal revelation of God outside of God. And that's not going to work. God needs you to take him for who he is, who he reveals himself to be in his word, who he expects you to see him as. Think about it for you. If you are a boss, if you're someone who is creating, having a business and you have, or you're establishing a brand, right? And you have a vision for your life and how you want people to see you. You expect people to, sh to treat you the way that you see yourself. It's no different from God. God is the actual standard when it comes to the things that people do in this world. God is the one who will, you know, who, who sets the example as to how people are to be. Amen? <laughs> so, we, okay. So, um, yeah, so I was like, a new creature in Christ. This is no joke. This is serious. We are new creatures in Christ. All things have passed away. All things have become new. As a born again believer, you are now reinventing yourself. You're reestablishing yourself. God is restoring your original identity, the identity that he that he had for you in Christ Jesus. So yes, your interests are going to change. Yes, your desires are going to change. Anything that is not of God, anything that you was a part of, anything that you was involved in, and I'm talking about your entire life, anything that you was influenced to be a part of, anything that you was persuaded to be a part of, anything that you was, you know, manipulated to be a part of, and it was never part of God's plans, you're not going to want to do these things anymore. This is why, again, you know, God will move you away from people, places, and things who are, as I said, being antagonistic, adversarial, and an enemy to your destiny. So I had to sit in that. I was, like I said, I was driving my passenger and I was just like, wow. <laughs> this is what it meant. The word finally hit. You know, when they say, you know, the word, when it falls into your heart and it now produces. Uh, uh, fruitfulness of 30 and, and 60 and 90 folds this is that moment beautiful people you are a new creature in Christ all things have passed away all things have become new you are seated with Christ in heavenly places you have been transformed by the renewing of your mind I'm going to close with the scripture that inspired this Ephesians 2 10 for we are God's handiwork created in Christ Jesus to do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. Some some translation says created anew, right? This is the NLT trans, translation. And from this scripture was the, a domino effect of just other scriptures that God, that Holy Spirit brought to my remembrance. Specifically, the all things have passed away, all things have become new. We are new creatures of Christ. I pray in the name of Jesus that you continue to move forward in your new identity that you continue to reject the lies and the deception of the enemy who is relentless when it comes to the things of god i pray that you ask god for the empowerment and the ability the power that came from the resurrection of christ the power the same power that rose christ from the dead that has been granted to us i pray that you rely on that power okay to resist the enemy okay that he shall flee from you okay to grow deep in the revelation and in the discernment of who you are and who god has called you to be amen i pray that you again just stand strong in the power of the lord and in his might concerning his identity for you the, the revelations that he's already given you concerning you that you stand on that that when the enemy begins to use people when he begins to use, you know, people around you, employees, friends, family members, people out of nowhere, and they want to refer to you with old names, they want to refer to you, you know, in, in, in ways that was your old life. I say in the mighty name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus over you in that circumstances that you know what to say, you know how to react, which affirms your belief in the truth about who God says you are, that you don't do anything that affirms what the devil says, but you stand on the truth as to who you are and the Holy Spirit living within you is going to empower you and give you the strategy, is going to give you the will, is going to, he's going to give you the desire, he's going to give you the command and your faculties, physical, spiritual, seen and unseen is going to come in to immediate obedience to the will of God in that moment and forevermore. 
You will be who God called you to be. You will embody the identity God has created for you in Christ Jesus. You will fulfill the plans of God in Christ Jesus for, 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 his, for, for, for your life and for his glory. Nothing will be able to stop you. It is you and God. Take ownership of your life. Use the tools that God has given you. Give God the glory in every good works that come from your life and all will be well. Stay connected to divine, beautiful people. I am Corwin L. Gilliams, CLG Lifestyle, influencing you to love self. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and to check out the description box to get access to my other platforms, including my podcast, my ebook, and how you can support. In Jesus' name, amen.